Hollywood studios are drenched in the blood of innocent children, according to Mel Gibson, who claims the consumption of baby blood is so popular in Hollywood that it basically operates as a currency of its own. Hollywood elites are an enemy of mankind, continually acting contrary to our best interests and breaking every... They're feeding off your children. If you think they're not coming for you after they're done what they get, think again. These fucks need to be stopped. They're soulless parasites. They have an emptiness in them that will never be filled. They are a bottomless pit inside their own soul, which is empty. Void of a soul. And when you see the truth for what it is, that's it. There's no looking away after that. Remember, we're here to bring forth heaven on earth. And heaven doesn't have room for soulless parasites. God-given taboo known to man, including the sanctity of children, Mel Gibson said in London, where he's promoting his role in Daddy's Home 2, his most prominent on-screen role in years. It's an open secret in Hollywood. These people have their own religious and spiritual teachings and their own social and moral frameworks. They have their sacred texts. They are sick, believe me. And they couldn't be more at odds with what America stands for. Mel Gibson appeared on the Graham Norton show on the BBC on Friday, and he scolded shocked guests about the real nature of Hollywood elites in the green room backstage after his appearance. Explaining that he spent the last 10 years working on my own ideas outside of the Hollywood system after being blacklisted by Hollywood in 2006 for sharing opinions about the industry and the world that run counter to liberal orthodoxy, Gibson said, I don't know how to break it to you gently. Hollywood is institutionalized pedophilia. They are using and abusing kids. They churn through a huge amount of kids every year. Their spiritual beliefs, if you can call them that, direct them to harvest the energy of kids. They feast on this they feast. Think of that word. They feast. Have you ever seen what it looks like when pigs are hungry? You got 20 pigs in a pig pen. They haven't been fed all day long. You throw some slop in there. They'll frenzy. If you were to fall in the pig pen, they'd eat your fucking face off. When you think of these pigs snorting and grunting, growling, think about what these things are doing and how the pig is actually better than them. Because these things are eating your children they're eating your future. They're not human. And if you have a shiver running up and down your spine, that means there's hope for you. And if you're laughing, the joke's on you, buddy. Stuff and they thrive on it, the Hackshaw Ridge director said. What do I mean? This isn't some kind of artistic abstraction. They harvest the blood of children. They eat their flesh. They believe this gives them life force. If the child was suffering in body and psyche before it died, they believe this gives them extra life force. There is a creative and loving force inside most of us that guides us through life. These people don't have this. For them, it's the opposite. According to Mel... He made one mistake there. Everything else... What this gentleman is saying is true. He called them people. Gibson, who has spent 30 years in and out of Hollywood system, the industry elites thrive on pain, trauma, stress, abuse, and suffering. Hollywood is drenched in the blood of innocent children. For a long time, all the references to pedophilia and cannibalism were symbolic or elusive, but I was personally introduced to this practice in the early 2000s. I can talk about this now because these people, these execs, they're dead now. The blood of a sexually abused infant is considered highly enriched and is highly prized. 
The money changing hands, the favors, the kickbacks, you have no idea. Babies are a high-functioning currency all of their own. Babies are their premium brand of high-grade caviar cocaine diamond steak. But according to Gibson, this isn't a flavor of the month perversion, popular among men and women who have grown bored of standard issue sins. This isn't anything new. If you do some research, you will see it is a metaphysical, alchemical phenomenon, and you find it behind... Happy Halloween. Do you feel safe now? ...scenes in all dark eras in history. It's a dark, multidimensional occult art and practice used by secret societies in the last few hundred years for social programming and mind control and raised to a zenith by Hollywood and America in our era.